Sometimes it's easy, sometimes not. But it's not a big deal, as I say. You take a chance, it's 50 50. Put one wedge, one side, and it's still leaking. Wow. You try the other side, and that's it. What, what? Is there any tricks to find out which way? Ah, no. 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 There is no device, no. No. You have just to look at the wood. But with practice, after a while, you are going to to feel how the, it goes. You can uh, scrape, do the scraper. If you, if you scrape with the grain, it's always smooth. If you go against, you can feel it. So that means like that. If it's leaking here, I can before. But I say, if you miss it, you put the wedge off. That's it. After you drive the wedge, does it stop immediately? Ah, yes. Yeah. Even when you, with your screwdriver, hmm. up, you can see. So if it didn't Before stop, you then. put the wedge, you can see up, it stop. Hmm. And most of the time, when you take off the screwdriver, and if you are right on the spot, on the bottom, you are going to see the red. Mm. If you don't have that, you can take a newspaper. Or, or, or a string, really fine. Or string, mm. or newspaper. Wet it a little bit. You roll it, and you push that. Is the Wall Street Journal or better than the New York Times? So it depends on you. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. You don't have to no. release the hoop, nothing. No. Just you push it mm -hmm. and it's gonna get inside. We just have it across the across the, the parking lot over there, but it's tough. <laughs> For free? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, Martin. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And sometimes it's enough for the joint. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have the capillary of the head wood. Mm -hmm who is leaking just in the angle and it's sometimes very hard to put a wedge right. so you can try to put a wedge Somewhere above sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't you don't want to put a wedge right here because the with the the angle of the head you are going to split it's it up it's going to get worse so you put push something inside the groove and most of the time it's seal built a pressure everywhere and it's gonna seal here. Unless it's a bug hole, because sometimes you scrape, you scrape, you scrape. You can't see, but there is a small one. Mm -hmm. And there. And but sometimes you can plug it just with that. And it's a bug you see the hole. It's sometimes, it's sometimes it's very small hole and it's right in the angle. Especially it's not the, easy. the French one. It's a really tiny one. Mm. And there Sometimes is vicious. You see the little <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you, you try yeah, to yeah, you push worse, something in the groove <laughs> and it's gonna stop. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it's a bug. If, if it's, it's not, if you it's have to go yeah. with a grain. Yeah. <laughs> so if it's a grain, you have to put a wedge. And say. And the same. You put it like this. Look at the grain and. Uh, you could perpendicular to the. Grain. Oh, if it's leaking here, you put the start to put the wedge here. Don't go too far. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alors, on the joint, always no, the, the joint. same. Each side, but very gently. Mm -hmm. uh, I. And after it's here, most of the time. 
Uh, you can see the the grain, the growth ring of the wood here, and it's leaking. So when it's when it's white wine, it's sometimes it's easier to see. But when it's uh, red wine, it's red everywhere, and you don't know. So always the first thing is to clean. You clean, you clean, you clean, you clean, you until you find exactly. You can usually see where the, it's coming out. And on the same growth ring, before and I remember I cut the, the grain. I don't split the wood perpendicular. So you are going to try to put the wedge here and most of the time you don't get it. So what you do, you put one here just underneath the top, oops, here and you get it. Just remember how the wood is made and try to understand where, where it's coming from where, and why and when you get it the way that for I have a question about the wood from a Czech and a Hungarian they look softer nice. like, like the French uh, yeah. Same yes it's like the French it's very soft it's light mm -hmm. But the between the French oak barrel and uh, an American oak, one you have 50 pounds, 15 pounds, sorry, 15 pounds. Different. It's very light, the French oak. And you, when we work with it, it's very soft in the machine. But it's more porous, that's the problem. That's why it's more interesting for us to work with American oak. It's hard, but after a day of work, you test the barrel, it's not leaking. Wow, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> when it's French, so you have to send back the barrel to the beginning and start again. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard water at all will alter the flavor of the of the wine because sometimes you have to soak them up with hot water in order to, no, to close no, them up. No. No. Some customer don't want to wash the barrel or fill up with uh, water before putting the wine because they pretend they are going to uh, lose uh, part of the flavor and part of uh, whatever. No, it's not because you are going to fill up the barrel for six or even 24 hours with water. You are not going to lose anything. Just remember how it takes for the wine to take. Yeah, but he hot water is more extractive. It, yeah, what, to, how long it takes for the wine to take what he needs from the barrel, several months, sometimes several years. So it's not in 24 hours, even if you have very smart water. Yeah, it's, uh, We've also yeah, had barrels. It's, it, it's like a beautiful girl. If you take off the makeup, you still have a beautiful girl. <laughs> <laughs> if she's not beautiful anymore, because there is a trick. 